Welcome back to another book review. Today we're looking at a Department of the Army Field Manual. This one is FM 5-31. As you can see from the title, it is Booby Traps. And if we take a closer look at the front cover, again, there's our category number, our title, logo, It's a little blurry, but you can see if it's from the War Office and Headquarters Department of the Army. This printing or edition was from September 1965, but this is a reprint of that. It's kind of a modern UPC code. And let's see here. Here we have again FM 5-31. 14 September 1965, and again number 5-31, title, here's our table of contents, so I'll just read it off, chapter 1, characteristics of booby traps, section 1, the introduction, 2 is principles of operation, chapter 2 is use of booby traps, section 1, basic doctrine, 2, Planning 3 Installation. Chapter 3 uh, pertains to booby trapping equipment. Section 1 are firing devices, 2 are demolition materials, and 3 are missiles. Chapter 4 are construction techniques. Section 1 booby trapping mines in minefields. <laughs> that sounds nasty. Two, booby-trapping buildings, also nasty. Three, terrain, also nasty. It's just nasty all around. Chapter 5, miscellaneous booby traps. Section 1, standard booby traps. And 2, improvisations. Chapter 6, booby trap detection and removal. 1, being clearing methods. 2, being disarming methods. And then we have an appendix of references. And then we have the modern printing organization. This came from Military Press. And they boast 5,000 plus shooting supply items, military manuals, gun cleaning supplies supplies 700 plus different clips and magazines some contact info so feel free to research more current info from this publishing and uh, supply company but uh, again this is a reprint of the 1965 edition so it's up to you to do your own research if you want to pursue further knowledge on this topic as you can see here is are the various prior editions. This supersedes FM 5-31, 31st January 1956, including C1. That's probably a, uh, uh, an add-on section. 16, December 1957. A little blurry here and C2 and then we got 28th August 1959 here we have TAGO 5732-B September if you look on the inside plain black cover uh, appendix 1 our references, so that's your references, FM5-25, Explosives and Demolitions, FM20-32, Landmine Warfare, so ain't messing around, two technical manuals, TM5-280, Foreign Mine Warfare Equipment, TM9-1345-200, Landmines, and also TM 9 1375 200 demolition materials. Let's see, and then here we got by order of the Secretary of the Army, the Chief of Staff, Adjutant General, and the various 
organizations that would receive this in the distribution at the time. As you can see all the acronyms. Those guard and army reserve as well. Index. You can see the topics that are covered in the index. I'm not necessarily going to go into too much detail on the interior portion because some of the material is dated, being that this is from 1965, the information, but still, uh, it's not information that should be freely given out. You, know, you should do your own research individually, I think. But uh, this will give you at least a starting point as to types of booby traps. <clears throat> Again, from the index perspective. What I've noticed about this particular printing is whatever they used as the original, I don't know, template, uh, could have been sharpened up a little bit, I think. Either because of... Uh, the source was not as clear, or maybe the, the best source that they could get they still had uh, some sort of fading due to time. They had to literally boost and enhance the print, and that might have caused a little bit of uh, cloudiness around the edges of the letters, I've noticed. But uh, that's pretty much up through the end of the index. Um, what we can then look at, give you an idea here. Uh, for example, starting right off with chapter one, the characteristics of booby traps. You can see the style of the manual is basically um, very basic treatise steps. And they give you certain diagrams. For information purposes, I'm just give you an idea. Here we got use of booby traps, basic doctrine. No color photography in here, that's the thing. And here we have basically two pages of just straight on text. And a sample of uh, logs and maps, diagramming. position of getting down and having to really go for the tactile approach. But they've come a long way in dealing with that. Although there's still people who go out and uh, have to probe and they just do it uh, without any protective equipment. So this uh, Again, militarypress.com, but this particular copy was obtained from a major surplus. So feel free to check out that website as well for whatever's in stock. They have a quite a large selection of items. Again, major surplus. And this one again came from this printing of, from Military Press. So feel free to check both of those outlets for other print media. This has been another book review. Feel free to check out other book review media reviews on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage mill serp tools and other expanded topics. And we also do a series of curios for the curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. 
feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.